Hey there, guys, and welcome to another new lesson. Uh, this time we will look at um, six major seven applications which you can use, uh, which sound great over a major seven chord. Um, this time we um, the chord will be C major seven. Um, and we will look at different applications you can use to create some, some great sounds and moods. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the good old E minor pentatonic. I think you got it down. Which sounds really nice against the C major 7 chord. Um, <clears throat> how it sounds in context, um, let's look here. These are the, some of the sounds you can get with the minor pentatonic. So let's analyze it, why it sounds so good and why you can use it. So here's the C major 7 chord. Um, the first note is E, which is the third of um, over the C. So then we have the G, which is the fifth of C. Then we have the A, which is the sixth. Then we have the B, which is the seven. And then we have the wonderful ninth, which has, has a very open sound. And even if you play just the scale up and down, this sounds nice. And one thing I, I would like to, um, to let you know is that don't use your stuck blues licks over this. I mean, it can sound good. Here it sounds pretty, pretty nice, but also I want you to, um, to really listen to the C major 7 sound and look for, for, um, for notes that sound strong on the beat. Um, as you can imagine, this is C major 7, and let's hear together. This is the E, sounds very nice, because it's a third, so it's, it's a good point where you can end the phrase. So let's try our typical um, blues thing. So now you see it resolves very nice to the C major 7. Let's try another octave. So this sounds pretty safe and nice, so we can use it. So the next note, um, which is the G. Sounds very open, so let's try the same phrase ending on the, on the G. Sounds also nice, you can use it. The next thing, um, is the note A, very open sound, so let's try this, also very nice. So um, as you see, oh, we have um, one note left and that is the, the B, this sounds really beautiful. So this is um, a really good, um, good note to learn on, let's try our same phrase. So as you see, um, try all these um, phrases and try to end on a different note. So take a simple phrase, for example, three or four notes, and then try um, to find different endpoints where you land on the, on the note and uh, on the chord, and then see uh, what sounds good and what sounds not so nice. Okay, let's move on um, to the next.